Okay. So um, I'm Steve McLean, and um, I've done. Um, I've had a fascination with energy healing over the past fifty some years, and so um, one of the things that's kind of shown up in the past five or six weeks is something called um, the deep self, and um, so I'm going to kind of help you to visualize the deep self, possibly go down into it. And um, the deep self is, um, if, if you think of, if you have a concept of the higher self, the higher self is the part of our self that lives in the higher dimensions. So it doesn't live in the body. It's an aspect of our self. So you are yourself. I am myself. The higher self is an aspect of our self. And the deep self is also an aspect of our self. But the difference between the deep self and the higher self is the higher self lives outside of this physical body and lives in higher dimensions, therefore called the higher self. The deep self lives in deeper dimensions, but within the body. So when you make contact with your deep self, or become aware of yourself as your deep self. Um, you always have contact with it, but you're not always in it. So today's process is to take you into the experience of your deep self. So this is you on a deeper level. And as I, I'm not going to put too many ideas into your mind, um, other than there is this deep self, and I'm going to do a brief visualization to take you into the experience of your deep self. And I'm going to go into my deep self as I do. And then we're going to notice what happens. So just before I do that, I want you to just do a rapid, you know, um, observation of yourself. I want you to just notice your head, notice your neck, notice your check, chest, notice your abdomen, notice your pelvis, notice your legs, notice um, your feet, hands, arms, just notice them. It doesn't have to be a lot. It just gets you noticing them because there's going to be things that are going to change over the next few minutes based on you tuning into your deep self. So the deep self exists within the core of yourself. So we could call that the pranic tube, which is a tube that runs from the top of your head down through your pelvis out your legs, it's a grounding self, it's the, the, where the earth energies come in through you, the higher realm energies come in through you, and um, the deep self is the core of that. And the deep self is actually connected to who you perceive yourself to be, because it is who you are, but it's a part that we've maybe felt separate from. And so now it's a time to reconnect to that part that we felt separate from and not so much bring it into us as bring our perception of ourself into it, into our perception of ourself as our deep self. That deep self exists within the pranic tube, or you can think of it as within the spinal cord and the cranium. So the brain and the spinal cord, the pranic tube basically runs through those areas. The pranic tube is, can be perceived as energetic, although it's all energetic. And the spine and the brain and spinal cord and the nerve system and all of that within that container of the spine is also the container of the deep self. So I would like you to just state out loud I choose to connect to my deep self. And you just might find yourself going in to that deep self, into that pranic tube, into that spinal cord where your brain and spinal cord exist within that skeleton, that spine inside that. Now you can feel that inside that. So you, you're just noticing that. And then I'm going to suggest this, but I'm going to 
suggest it slowly so you can notice what you're noticing in your deep self. And then I'm going to suggest what I'm noticing within my deep self. And then we'll be able to compare notes. So if you're noticing what I'm noticing, we go, oh, isn't that interesting? We're noticing the same or something similar. So when I'm in the deep self, one of the things I notice is my breath. So my breath begins to move up and down kind of through my whole body. So I feel like I'm breathing through my whole body. And I can feel my cerebral spinal fluid motion. So the fluid inside the spine goes up and down, up into the cranium, down in, you know, into the sacrum through the feet, and then up to the cranium, down to the spine and in the feet. That's the cerebral spinal fluid motion. And when you begin to feel that motion, it's different than your breath. So you feel your breath when you inhale and you exhale and maybe yawn. That's your respiratory cycle. That's your breath cycle. You breathe in, you breathe out. So that respiration cycle is going on the same time your cerebral spinal fluid motion is moving up and down like a breath. So you can feel that motion of that going on at, at a different cycle as your breath. So your breathing is happening a little faster than your cerebral spinal fluid cycle but they're both going on. And when you're in your deep self, so again, you might find yourself kind of dropping deeper into your deep self, just noticing your breath, noticing the cerebral spinal fluid flow and cycle. And you've been doing this for long enough to possibly notice that you're feeling peaceful. And this is what people have described who have, I've assisted into this place of the deep self is a sense of peace. Now, as you are in that state of peace, that experience of peace, the longer you're in it, the more you feel that peace moving up and down your spine, moving through your breath. And another thing that you might notice is that peace, it, it can be different for each person. But one of the places that I've noticed, my clients notice, is that their heartbeat as their blood is pumping, it's pumping this peaceful energy. And even if you're just imagining it and you're having the experience of it, it's happening because everything we notice is actually what we imagine in some ways because we're imagining experiencing something and imagining experiencing it and experiencing it what's the difference between imagining you're experiencing it and experiencing it? So we might just be imagining it, or we might just be experiencing it, or we might be imagining and experiencing it. Either way, if you feel your blood pumping through your system, and your blood goes everywhere, goes out to the fingertips, goes out to the toe tips, you've got blood vessels everywhere in the body that's just pumping this blood, and if it's pumping this peaceful energy through your entire blood system, then you're starting to notice that, oh, I feel more peaceful. You may notice other things as well, like I'm noticing some kind of tingly things going on in my hands as my 
heart is pumping this um, peace to my system. You might notice your feet tingling. You might notice different parts of your body that's getting that are getting better areas of circulation or just more peace to those areas. So that peace is a vibration that changes things. Another thing that I've noticed and my clients have noticed is that there are acupuncture meridians everywhere. So there's these meridians that run through the central governing vessel and the, you know, um, the gallbladder meridian and the kidney meridian and the pancreas spleen meridian and the liver meridian and all these meridians. And if you look at an acupuncture, there's all these lines running all over the body. And you don't need to memorize them or even look them up if you, if you don't feel like it. But one of the things that we've noticed is these um, acupuncture meridians, according to the people that do acupuncture, are the energy lines of the body. And when this deep self begins to feel these deep, peaceful energies moving, another place that they begin to run is through the acupuncture meridians. So they begin to energize the body with really peaceful energy. So even though it's energizing the body, it's not that kind of, you know, emotions rising kind of energy. It's this very peaceful energizing of the body. So it happens also through the acupuncture meridians. And then this piece just starts moving all sorts of places. So right now, as I'm working with this, I feel it moving into the abdomen and I feel this piece just moving through the abdomen. Uh, in your own experience, you might find it moving up underneath the chest. You might feel it just releasing this, you know, this body armor over the chest. It might, you might just feel that body armor come off. You might feel the heart open up with this peaceful energy going through. It might be releasing these old emotions that are in the heart, these old emotions that are in the lungs, these old emotions that are in the throat these old emotions that are in the head, you might just start feeling them come out and getting lo a larger and larger field of energy about around you that's filling up with peace. And I would just say that this is the loveliest um, process that I've learned um, in the 50 some years of uh, studying energy healing, healing and energy healing. This process of working with the deep self is um, the loveliest process that I've done. So I hope that you find it very useful. Um, we have no idea how many things that this will heal because basically my perception of healing is that it's change on an energetic level. So it might be the releasing of the energies of fear or grief or anger, um, shame, guilt, whatever. You know, it's the release of these old energetics that might have been put in by teachers and religions and society and family units and all that. So releasing all those energies and really coming into your deep self and in that place of peace and calm is a place of acceptance. So enjoy the process. Um, give me feedback. If you watch this, if I post this, and you watch it and you can write um, a comment and you find it really useful or not useful, didn't do a thing for me, whatever you want, but just write that. And give me some feedback, which helps me to understand how well these various processes are working for people and i'm going to just read um one comment that i got and um i'm going to put on my glasses to do it and i apologize i wasn't ready for this but it just came to me to do this so i'm just going to do it um so I did these um, I did these videos with my friend Brian Truskowski on his YouTube channel before I had a YouTube channel, and uh, this was feedback on the December session that um, you did with Brian, so that I did with Brian, 
In the latter half of 2019, I experienced some vision loss in my left eye. My eye doctor referred me to a retinal specialist. I never wet because I don't resonate with how they might want to treat it. I'm the medical profession. So I knew that in time, it would heal. So that's a good belief system to have. While I saw some progress in four years, it's nothing in comparison to the change after listening to the newest session with you and Brian four times. There is a lot of retinal nerve activity, lights flashing, some pain in isolated moments of clear vision. But overall, I can now see large, bold writing, whereas it used to be a black dot four years ago. This is amazing progress in just one month. Thank you for the work you do. So this is just to let you know that even though I might have made up that text, but I, but I didn't, it just arrived this morning. I'm telling me how the video that I did with Brian Truskowski on his channel, um, we did it with the intention of doing a healing session with Brian but then other people could watch that healing session and have a healing session themselves. So this is a person who watched that healing session, watched it four times, and saw some healing of her left retina. It's lovely. And lots of feedback is coming back on, on these videos. People are watching them. People are experiencing change. And so I hope you experience change that you like and that... Um, and then if you feel like you want to comment, like and subscribe or comment or send it to a friend, um, bring this healing work to others. Um, we're really, uh, this is not a, a money-making operation for me or Brian and I. Um, this is an opportunity to assist the world to heal without having to be sitting down with the person while they're doing it. So on some levels, we are sitting down with you while you do it. But the idea is, is like once you know how to heal on an energetic level or you decide you want to learn how to heal on an energetic level, this is just to support you to do that. So that's it for now. Um, and as I like to say, namaskar. So I will um, be talking with you uh, soon, I'm quite sure. Have the best day you can.